And uh, people are asking about who should be the next Flash. Hi, John. This is Hunter from San Antonio, Texas. Um, and my favorite video from you guys is probably where you guys discussed who you'd want to play Superman in the new DCU. I was wondering who you'd like to play the Flash in this new universe. Would you want um, a new Barry Allen, or do you think it should start off with a Jay Garrick or Wally West? Thanks, and very honest, Filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Hunter. And yeah, I mean, normally I don't like to do X actor and X role, mostly because we have no idea who would be a good fit because we haven't read the scripts, right? Like you read one <laughs> script for a movie. Don't, don't. <laughs> Send Rob your scripts. You know, you read one script with the Joker in it, being, say, Michael Keaton's Batman, and that Joker is written very, very differently than Christopher Nolan's Joker is written, which is written very, very differently from what Jared Leto's Joker was written, which is written very differently from what Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is written. So... Like, you can have an idea in your head, but unless you actually see the script, you don't really know. So I'm going to list off some people I could see being the next Flash after Ezra Miller because I still don't believe for a second that Ezra Miller is still going to be Flash after the upcoming The Flash movie. They're not. Uh, and if they are, I'll never watch another thing with The Flash in it. But I'm very excited about this movie. As far as who do I think it's going to be, will it be Wally West, Jay Garrick, Barry Allen. I think it's going to be Barry Allen. I think that that's right now is your traditional Flash. I think Barry Allen is going to be our Flash. With that said, here are my picks. And some of these are going to really surprise you. And I think a lot of these you're not even going to like. Good <laughs> pitch. I could yeah. actually, but regardless of that, leave. I've never been about the popular opinion. Uh, I actually believe these actors could do really, really well playing the Flash. And I'm looking for a certain age. I'm looking for under 30. That's one of my big prime things here. At least right now, they're under 30. So here we go. My first pick, and maybe Christian will like this. I don't know. Is Tanner Buchanan of Cobra Kai. Uh, he was also in Robbie. Designated Survivor. He played mm -hmm. Kiefer Sutherland's son yep. in that, which I really, really liked him in. He's got a really good look for it. Uh, if, if we got that picture yeah, up there. Here. He's got a really, really good look for it. He's got a super, a traditional superhero physique. And you know what? While I am not a fan, let me be clear, I am not a fan of Cobra Kai. How dare you? But my wife is kind of obsessed with it. And whenever I've seen him playing... Now, remember, this show is borderline telenovela, soap opera kind of thing. And you know what? He plays to it really well, the stuff that I've seen him do. And so... I like the name Tanner Buchanan. I think he would be a pretty good idea, a pretty good pick for a Barry Allen. All right, let's go over to my second pick here. And by the way, these are in no particular order, okay? Just so you're clear. My second pick, this may surprise you, is KJ Apa from Shortland Streets and from Riverdale. Now, DC was already looking at him because in what was the dumbest fucking idea for a movie in history... Oh. They were going to do a Wonder Twins movie. Do you remember this? Oh, <laughs> a yes. while ago. They were going to do a Wonder Twins movie a while ago, and uh, KJ was going to play uh, one of the Wonder Twins. But make no mistake, again, he's in this ridiculous show, but he plays to that show perfectly. Again, much like Tanner, he's got the superhero build and physique. Not that that's important for Barry Allen, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. But I, if you're looking for just legit acting chops and somebody could fit in that and somebody DC already had their eyes on once for something else. I could see KJ Apa actually not being a bad choice to play a new Barry Allen. All right, let's go into my third one here. Speaking of somebody who is already in the DC realm and in the DC world, and maybe I would prefer to see them play someone else, but Noah Cent Centino, who was just, of course, Adam Smasher and Black Adam. Now, how much are they going to... I mean, is Adam Smasher still going to be in the DCU moving forward? I don't know. If he is, clearly disqualified from being the new Flash. If not, well, listen. We already know Jason Momoa is going to be playing a new character. Hell, might even be playing Aquaman and a new character at the same time. We have no idea. But if they are going to continue to use Adam Smasher, which part of me kind of hopes they do, then obviously that's disqualified. But if not... I thought he was terrific in that. And I've watched a little bit of The Recruit now. And he's really good in The Recruit. Yeah, he is. He's really, really good in show. The Recruit. 
And so do I think he would make a pretty good Barry? Yeah, I mean, again, all depending on the script. Maybe he'd be the worst fit in the world, depending on the script. But that aside, I think Noah Citri would be a pretty good uh, pick for that. All right. Let's go on to my fourth pick. And again, these are in no particular order. Shamik Moore, who is... Now, You most people will know him as the voice of Miles Morales, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. But he's also incredible in Dope, incredible in The Get Down. And again, I, I love his voice. He can play kind of nerdy but he can also play harder at the same time he was great and dope he, really. he's incredible i just realized flash thompson isn't sitting right next to him yep. oh my gosh i didn't even think about that <laughs> you're flash right there. Flash thompson's right beside him <laughs> i didn't even put that together and, and so yeah i'm telling you what if if they were to go with a little bit of a less traditional barry but again i don't think the ethnicity of barry has any any bearing at all on the characteristics of who barry is so i'd be totally good with that now I've said all these are in no particular order, except for this one, which would be my first pick. Now, all the rest of the guys I just mentioned, whether it's Noah, uh, KJ, Tanner, whatever, they all got that superhero build. I don't really think that's important for Flash. Flash is a science nerd kid, got struck by lightning, whatever. Understanding that, and my main thing is I'm always looking for, do you get a talented actor? That's the number one thing. I'm going to go with this name. If we can go to my screen. There we go. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet is simply one of the best actors in the world right now. Um, he's got a good... He, he can come across as the nerdy science kid if you want. Well, he can come across as anything. By the way, his Apple TV Plus ads are the best ads on TV right huh. now. I die laughing every time those things come on. Uh, of course, he's got a lot going with Dune. He's an Academy, already at his age, an Academy Award. And he's got great hair that can billow in the wind. And he's got great <laughs> locks of hair that can billow in the wind. Um, again, this is mostly based on the fact that he is a absolute world-class Academy-level kind of actor. You bring something like that to DC. And listen, I don't know that there are many comic book characters that Timothy Chalamet could play because for a lot of those characters, build and physique are one of those things. Timothy Chalamet is about a buck oh five soaking wet. I mean, that's with not boots on. Flash with boots on, golden <laughs> boots on. But for somebody like the Flash, I think you can get away with that. I, I really do. And so, my five picks again. I was trying to think a little bit outside of the box here. Uh, Tanner Buchanan, KJ Appa, Noah Centino, uh, Shamik Moore, and Timothy Chalamet. Those are the picks I have. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, The Black Tux. It's time we had the talk. You know the one I'm talking about, the one that ends in the three-letter word. I'm talking about a tux. And when you need a tux, the best place to go to get one is The Black Tux. The Black Tux makes it super easy to get an on-trend, top-quality, guaranteed-to-fit tux without ever needing to leave your house. So here's how it works. Take The Black Tux Fit Quiz, pick the style you want to wear, and boom, your tux is delivered to your door 10 days before the day you need it. That's plenty of time to try it on and make sure it wears you well. And hey, if the fit's not quite right, say hello to the Black Tux Fit Guarantee. Order a better size within a day or two of receiving the less than great fitting one and they'll send another one right away at no extra cost. Their expert fit specialists will help you find the perfect style tux or suit and make sure it fits just right. Listen, I've been dubious in the past about online sites or apps that say they can get your measurements, but the fit quiz with the Black Tux works great. And man, I wish I'd had these guys for so many events I've attended over the years. So rent or buy, the Black Tux is the best place to go when you need a tuxedo for a wedding or a special night. And right now, when you go to theblacktux.com slash campia and use the code campia, you'll save $20 off your order. That's T-H-E-B-L-A-C-K-T-U-X dot com slash campia, code campia to save $20. So Rob, let me go over to you first. Uh, what do you think about any of the particular picks I have? Do you have any names that I didn't mention? I think they're good. There's an actor that I've always liked because I've I got to know him a little bit a couple of years back, and I uh, really like him. Uh, he's been on TV as the new MacGyver, Lucas Till. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't I bring him up as one of my picks for a possible new Superman? I think you might. I have. think I did. Yeah, I I'm a big a I'm a big fan of Lucas Till. I think he can look like Barry Allen. He's got that, you know, I think that those winsome ways and and um, I. I any exchanges I've ever had with him, I've always really liked him, and I think he's got that flash look. I think he does. He's got he's got the superhero physique. He, yeah, I liked I liked him for Superman, but I I would totally be good with him as a Flash. He's too. just I mean, look at that that grin to me says Barry Allen. 
<laughs> it looks like he's about to talk about forensics. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christian, what about you? Got any any particular the list that I have that stand out to you or any names that you have that I didn't have? I do. I mean, not just from the obvious, the, I am a fan of Cobra Kai, but I like the Tanner pick because I, I as you know, I had a chance to do that that Nokia panel and I got a chance to know Tanner. Yeah, you got to moderate better. that discussion. I did, and Nokia, I spoke to yeah. him quite a quite a bit, him more so than than the rest. And he actually, he plays a very serious character mm -hmm. on the show. That was my concern. So you think he could pull it yeah, off? Yeah, he's got a good sense of humor about him. He's very intense. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. And he's very committed, but he's got, but he has a good sense of humor. He's like one of the big practical jokers on on okay. set. So that's that's the thing that I think people are like, ah, he's too serious. I, he's got that, he's got that thing that could do it. So I think that's a really good pick. That was my, the one I, my, I have two picks. And one of the ones that I have is my concern with your Timothy Chalamet pick, which is that he's too recognizable at this point, And people will be like, oh, because he's, he's, you know, he's kind of kind of eccentric. And he's always doing this for some reason. <laughs> and, and so I don't know if I can get past that in the same other. He didn't ultra... do that a lot in Bones and All. He didn't, he didn't I didn't see that one. But okay. everything else, he's always doing that dance. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I like him. But I feel so like star power wise, I think um, Austin Butler is somebody who would be interesting. Uh, he's 31, I know, but uh, and, and I think that your picks in the 30s as well. All, too. all under 30s, uh, yeah. The ones that are all under 30. Well, yeah. yours are under 30. I think yeah. that because isn't isn't Lucas Till a little? A little he's got to be close. I don't think he's a little. I'm not really sure how old. Both he is, both mine are in their early 30s. The one that I think the most is Dylan O'Brien. That's the name. That, see, I avoided that one because I saw a lot of other people online were going that one. I like Dylan O'Brien, but I think he's a little, he might be a little aged out. He's, he's 34. 31. I mean, 31. Yeah. Oh, he's 31? he's 31. Actually, that's not as old as I thought. Yeah, I mean, look, but I you're like not, him. But but by the time they make the movie, he probably very well be 34. So it just depends on what you know what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. But I, I think yeah, to me to me, I think Dylan O'Brien's the best because he has that body. The only the other one that you brought up was Noah Santino. I I think he's too big. I think he's supposed to play He Man. Like he, like he, yeah, but he was also 115 pounds when they first announced him as He Man, and then he they started to bulk up. I don't up. know, man. He's a and big I don't dude. think he's, he's like that one, big. In I don't think he's that tall. physically big. I don't know. I, th I thought he was like six one. Six he looks bigger. Big. I mean, he's tall. He's a tall kid. Yeah. That's what I mean. I just think, yeah, yeah he's a little too big for, for, for my taste. Lucas Till's 32. Yeah, I have two two names that haven't been mentioned. Nobody asked Taylor. Yeah, oh. Oh. Puss no, in Boots and Shrek. <laughs> Ross Lynch, uh, I would love to see him as The Flash. He is, I just looked it up, he is only 27. Yeah. And Jack Champion, who played Spider in Avatar The Way of Water, oh, he's cool. only 18 that's years old. Oh, I did like I like that. He's he might be, be a little too young, though. Screen 6, he's 18. You're talking about someone who's got to be, work for the police, be in forensics. Okay. He might be Jack a little Champion. bit too young. But I do like that kid. I like that kid. Anyway, guys, what about you? What do you think would be a good pick for someone like The Flash? I mean, again, any of these names I'd be totally comfortable with. I mean, and again, if I read the script, maybe I'd think none of the names we've mentioned would be a good fit for it because we simply don't know. But as far as just really early fan projecting, what do you think? Do you have a couple of names that you'd like to see on there? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.